All right. Hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good, wait, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. All right. Today is Sunday, April 24th, 2022. And it is uh, time for Spoken Word Sunday in the Blue Room. So thank you so much for uh, either coming on or watching the replay. Uh, just thank you and welcome. And I am thankful and grateful for you. Okay, let's start with our opening prayer. And we're going to do something a little different for, uh, during our moments in stillness. I decided to change. I went for a walk today and I was thinking about meditation and just it, the, it just came up moments in stillness, you know, whatever, moments in stillness. All right, so the opening prayer for today we are human and divine. There is perfection within our imperfection. We recognize there is but one spirit, the all. The all of the multiverse, the universe, the heaven and earth, heart and mind. God the creator is the total all. Therefore, all is in the all and then the all is in all. We realize and understand within all opposite exists. On one side, there is in harmony. On the other side, there is harmony. As there is a time of winning, there too is a time of learning. And in all situation and circumstance, we are perfectly guided by God. We are thankful for our life, for what we have, and we are grateful for the goodness and fullness for what we know is coming. We know that all is in divine proportion, love, time, and order. And in the continuum of life, that's our love, our imagination, our faith expression, we face our fears and uncertainties. Of course we do. And as we do that, though, however, we tap into the power, presence, and essence of divine love and surety. We trust the flow of God. We're learning. We can simply let go. We can trust in the divine flow. And this is all with ease and joy. So we are thankful and grateful for days simply because God is. And yes, thy will be done in our head as placed in our heart in the truth center of our heart. And then we just silently to ourselves say our complimentary clothes. Yes. All right. Okay. And uh, I trust, you know, I, I had a really um, nice weekend, nice and busy sharing. So each day, I don't, I don't, sometimes I do, but, but this weekend I found myself shaving a lot uh, because I had, um, um, I was blessed with the opportunity to share messages, deliver messages throughout the weekend at night and during the morning, afternoon. So I uh, I shaved my head a little bit more than I normally do. And today I said, no, I, I'm going to give my head a rest. So I have my hat on, you guys. And um, so that's, I, I trust that's okay with you, you know, for me having my hat on instead of uh, sh shaving. Uh-oh, I need to cut this back on because I'm going to have my... Um, my uh, Chromebook. Okay, so the next thing that we have, we have the Universal Vibe. You know, last uh, last week the Universal Vibe was um, was uh, the the uh, the essence of a little bit of change, uh, lesson learning. A um, could be a struggle, um, a challenge. I say, not necessarily an obstacle if we don't put something in front of that challenge. Uh, to prevent us from understanding or knowing that challenge. And, and I have to say, you know what? Um, I did. I, I last, last week uh, th that um, I, uh, I was able to accept, I'm going to say I was able to accept a trigger. I've had this trigger for, well, you know, where I would eat and I would, you know, I would get this urge to eat and eat the sweets. And a lot of times sweets just, just mean metaphysically going beyond the physical 
a lot of times eating a lot of sweets just simply means that we're missing the sweetness of life. And it could be whatever that is. And it doesn't have to be, I always come, you know, back it up with, it doesn't have to be a big deal. Um, so, but I know for me, you know, I know for me, I've learned and, and, and accepted that. Well, um, this week uh, I found myself having the urge to eat the sweets and it was after something had happened and I connected the two and finally, finally embraced that fact that, okay, when, when, when I think of this, that is a trigger. So I just need to learn how to not let that be a trigger. I need to, you know, come to grips with it to understand or, how, you know, however, quit, quit perpetrating, you know, making some illusion or whatever, just you know, as, as someone used to share with me in the eighties, some time ago, just tell myself the truth and, 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 just, and get going with it, whatever I want to decide to do with it. So, um, and yeah, that was a bit of a challenge, you know, because it's like, okay, well, cause I'd accept some things about myself, you know what I mean? So, but Hey, that, 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 um, that pill has been swallowed and, and it's a part, it's a part of the journey to may come back. But at least I know, see, that's the beauty in this thing. It's not about necessarily resolving stuff or, you know, um, um, finally, well, resolving, finalizing completion. Uh, those are good things, but not all the time does, um, does something uh, come about that we need to resolve it? A lot of times, all we got to do is just, you know, embrace it and, and, and know that that's within the journey. And each time that something, each time that trigger, when we experience a trigger comes up, it's like, okay, here it is. Oops, there it is. I mean, <laughs> then we say, okay, all right. So, okay, I know I'm, I'm doing this because I thought this and this came to me. Um, for me to, you know, to, to, to match all this stuff and bring it together. Hey, oh, hey, little brother. Good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome to Spoken Word uh, Sunday in the Blue Room at 12 noon. All right. So that's the, uh, oh yeah, that was last week. So the vibe for this week is, is look around either subtle or whatever this you know this is a this is a week for a successful accomplishing week what you set out to do in the event the intention is correct because every decision we make there is an intention i don't know if we recognize that i know i i don't recognize it all the time I make a decision there uh, uh, there is an intention of course is what is the motive behind making that decision you know that kind of thing so anyway this week is a wonderful week a successful accomplishing accomplishing week all right so we have the universal vibe and then the thought massage thought thought massage oh stop massage with the reflection let's do this and welcome I see one okay one Okay, one, you know, we shuffled the cards and everything and go through here. And again, thank you so much. Um, if you watch the replay, you know, bless you. May your week be full of success and accomplishment as you see it, as it, you know, as it works with you. All right, so I'm going to do the separate in two. Oh, okay. Val now, see, successful accomplishing week. Validating, let me do this here. Validating my vision, my image being of service to others. And that's what, you know, you can say, ask, say that to yourself. Do I believe in my creativity, my idea? Why? Why not? Do I know what my creativity is? So this week, a successful accomplishing week. Well, of course, first we have to know something into the understanding. Of course, you know, we know that's our masculine feminine energy that is in synergy with each other. All right. So that's pretty cool. Validating my vision. What is my vision? Um, and for me, I'm learning that uh, my visualization uh, there's a difference between visualization and vision. Vision, um, for me, is the vision of the creator, that secret love, that that higher self within me, that true, the true, the trueness of it. Visualization to me is that's my personality, that's my 
um, lovely lower self of something that I want and desire. And sometimes, no, sometimes that's correct. Sometimes our visual is not parallel or one with the vision, and that's okay. I mean, it's learning. That's what we, you know, we, we're here to learn. This is, this our earth is a lesson, and we can either learn our lessons by fear and doubt, or we can learn our lessons through, um, Love and reverence. You know, that's the choice. All right, so the thought massage. Let me get my paper, so let me make sure. Thought massage, because then after we do this, it's our five-minute moments in stillness. All right, our thought massage. Thought massage. Let the fingers do the walking. Let the fingers do the walking. I'm not, what it say? What it say? What it say? Oh, okay. All right, so the thought massage. So this week... Um, this, oh, I should have put the thing, whatever. Oh, here it is. This week, it's a successful accomplishing week. All right. And however you define that to be, the thought reflection on this week of accomplishment and success is validating the vision. Do you believe in it? And they could be as simple as something is working on our uh, creativity. Do I believe in my creativity? Um, if I have questions, well, this is a good week for me to accomplish and be successful in believing in my creativity. And then the, the, the thought massage, that message to massage our mind is be gentle and kind with your response. Your words will resonate peace and be received with love. And the thought massage key, the key for this week is goodwill. All right, so successful, accomplish, goodwill, pay it forward, completion, um, validating our vision. All right, so our next, it is 12, 12, 14. And this time, uh, guys, I'd like for you to get into that comfortable position. The candle is lit. I lit it before we, before I came on, you know, at the time, time going toward the top of the hour. And um, what I'm getting ready to do is play. This is a melodic mantra. I'm not going to say anything for these five minutes. This is a piece that, um, that I created um, last last year, 2021, and this is the beginning of, uh, it's a melodic mantra where it's, um, eventually I'm going to be offering this melodic mantra where I create a melodic mantra for you, if you wish, and in, in the melodic mantra, within the melodic mantra is your Mantra, so it's melodic because of the music, and then the mantra, um, the mantra and the melodic too in your key, close to whatever, and then the mantra is whatever you have. Like you're gonna hear me in here say, "I am enough," because that's my karmic debt. That's something that I borrowed, um, either from experience or from someone, whatever that 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 imperfectness within me so that my mantra is i am enough i understand enough and thy will be done so anyway for this one for the next 5 minutes and it's going to i'm going to lower it let me see here i'm going to lower it when it gets to the 5 minutes because the melodic mantras are really 10 minutes so, but I'm not going to do the whole thing for 10 minutes, but this is just something, you know, when I went for my walk today, it came up, I said, you know, play the melodic mantra and I am learning my walking. Walking is a way of meditation for me. And uh, along with, you know, the, the, uh, the, the, I guess standard meditation, if you will. And on this journey, you know, I'm coming to learn more and more to trust when something comes up, trust it. Don't be saying, huh, I wonder what, 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 I don't know, uh, as I, I, and I still do. However, um, I see, I see the progress and I'm really, really consciously recognizing that when something is, is shared with me or when I receive something, I'm, uh, I accept it. All right. So comfortable, be comfortable. Like I said, I'm not going to be saying anything. It's 1215. We're going to get going. This is melodic mantra. Just go with it see, you know, whatever, just now, you know, whatever you're doing, be comfortable now, 
Get ready. Close your eyes, okay? Close your eyes. When it's time, when it be the five minutes coming up, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear the bell, okay? Just three times and then just, just come on. All right, so here we go.
明啊。You can open up your eyes now, and there we go. That was five minutes of melodic mantra. Yeah, I'm looking forward to working more with that. I gotta get back to that. But that is melodic mantra. That one's mine in the key. I believe that's in the key of C. Although I'm a B. My 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 uh my resonance is my tone is my note. Yeah, I'll say my note is B. All right, so here we are with the message. I was so um privileged uh to experience the grace and growth of participating in a beautiful sister. Her name is Tiana Jones. She's Cali Girl Books, LLC. And it's a global peace summit, Passover. Um, and I try to remember, it doesn't happen all the time. I, I'm getting better. But it, like I said, it doesn't happen all the time. But every time before I do something, either representing claimants or whatever, I try to remember to... Say the say a prayer, my intention for meditation, just to say, okay, all right, um, uh, just to come in that oneness, you know, to say, okay, I would say, okay, Father, Mother, God, okay, come, we on, we on, speak through me kind of thing, you know what I mean? So anyway, I did this, this time I remembered for the Passover and, and, and I did, um, you know, Passover where, where uh, Moses uh, led the Israelites, uh, exited, ex uh, exited um, Egypt. Well, I was uh, thinking about that, and I and I said, said to you know, just to, to meditate. Say, okay, well, you know, ask for what message. How, how do I go about? What 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 should I be doing? And um, I received to come at it vibrationally. So uh, I'm going to share with you what I shared. So Passover, you know, Passover, the vibration of Passover is faith. Passover also me means to move from one place to another to transition. And just uh, uh, on the uh, note, uh, I did uh, in reading, I learned that um, it's up in the air, kind of, if uh, this, if, if Exodus was... Um, was written by Moses. If 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 that book was written by Moses, some some uh, the, theologian, I guess I'm saying it right, religious historians say yes. Some say no. So that's kind of up in the air. But anyway, that's that's not that's um, that's neither here nor there. But just wanted to mention that. Um, so Passover, the Israelites exiting Egypt, escaping from, escaping from. Uh, moving from one point to another, escape, and 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 I like to, as a as a metaphysical religious pluralist, I like to bring um, essences of holy scripture um, to the present. How how I can apply it in in my life and learn uh, in in on my journey. So what I got from this, and bear with me. Uh, what I got from this was when the Israelites exited Egypt, that they were escaping from just living through the five senses, just living through having ego reign supreme rather than our spirit reigning supreme. And Exodus, Exodus brings the vibration of faith. Exodus brings the, the vibration of the decision to pass over to pass over from a consciousness of poverty to prosperity. Now, I don't mean po poverty, meaning l money, a lack of money, a, a lack of materialistic things. Passing over, because this also, in, in this Passover, it brought to mind to me the universal law of polarity. Polarity is that, you know, because there's one energy, polarity is going from one pole to the other, left, right, right, left, right, whatever. So when we pass over, we're going from one pole, one one pole of, of, of a consciousness of poverty moving toward the, the that other pole uh, to a consciousness of prosperity. So, and, and poverty meaning living a consciousness of living life through doubt and fear, okay, and, and moving toward living a life through prosperity of, 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 of 
love and, and certainty. You know what I mean? So, and also in poverty, believing that we are separate from the, the power, presence, and essence of the all, of the creator, Allah, Yahweh, however, God, whatever creator, universe, however you term, whatever your term is. So Exodus carries with the vibration of having the faith to move to Passover, to move from living in doubt and fear to living in love and, and, and certainty and security, certain and security that we can trust in the power presence of love, trust and security that we understand that yes, that God is the, 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 the source, the supply, the substance, and the and the uh, um, the support, the source, the supply, and the substance of all we we all we need. It is the 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 energy of Exodus also comes with it the struggle because yes, it is a struggle to surrender to surrender our our uh, our exceptional ego, which is a beautiful thing to say. Okay. I can trust in something that I may not see. I can trust in my my faith. I can tr and it's not even about our faith. We can trust in the 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 being, the existence of the of of universal flow of God, of of our Father, of our Father, Mother, God, of of that that one energy that we are connected with. So that's Exodus brings the vibration of passing over from, from a consciousness of living in doubt and fear, stepping, passing over and moving on to a consciousness of certainty and love. And, and when we do that, when we move from conscious <laughs> doubt and fear to certainty and love, that is also the expansion. We are expanding our we are expanding our reverence for our life. And as we do that, we are also expanding the reverence, the deep devotion, the love and the honor of our brothers and sisters of all life, of all life. And then we have Israel. Israel carries with it the, 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 the vibration of standing alone, new beginnings, passing, <laughs> passing, passing over new beginnings of a new way of consciousness, a new way of, of, of living freely because we, we can, we can let go. We can let go and, and, and go with the flow and trust. We can trust in the universal essence of of, of keter god the all however i mean it's <laughs> the alpha and the omega i'm going to say so we can that's israel that's what the vibration of israel one new beginnings and uniting uniting our lower self with our higher self in other words uniting that ego that that intellectual comprehension evaluation with our higher self the truth and as we parallel as we bring that up to parallel as we bring our ego our lower self up to parallel with our higher self that one with spirit eventually then we become one because we are growing that that expansion and then egypt now um I'm still a little torn as as far as um uh the 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 darkness thing okay I am still erasing the tape because uh yes I grew up uh thinking you know darkness was inferior inferior um subpar uh evil bad well evil really is the absence of love um uh, sin, the darkness. So I'm. I do not believe that anymore. I I believe that's an illusion. I believe that's a false thing because from out of the darkness came light. Uh, to to lighten anything, it, it there is darkness first. So I'm. My thing is. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, I, I do not, well, anyway, let me just share the information that I received is that Egypt was, you know, the, the darkness, you know, that was the, the bad part of when, when they, when, 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 um, when, uh, the, the, the Israelites, when they were in Egypt and, and, and they left. Okay. My position is because I, you know, I, I pray on it because I have issues with that. I, I really do. I, I believe it's a time. I, I believe that's that's incorrect information, and um, I believe it's time that we do erase our erase the tapes on that. That's just that's that's my position, and I'm an advocate. I'm a, I'm a very sincere, serious advocate of that. For me, Egypt is is yes, darkness, darkness. Egypt is the 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 the, the darkness. So that is the beginning. Egypt is the beginning. When we are in darkness, we are in that beautiful state of enfoldment, like like the butterfly in in, in the cocoon. What what in the cocoon before he or she becomes the butterfly? It's all it's all connected. We must go through a phase of un unfoldment to realize and understand, to grasp, to 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 to. to Oh, what do I say? To bring in our consciousness, states of growth, grace and growth. That is the period of unfoldment. So when the Is Israelites were in Egypt, that was a state of un uh, unfoldment. When they began to pass over, they're passing over from, they're passing over from leaving the 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 well metamorphosizing metamorphosing thank you metamorphosing from the uh, the the period of unfoldment because they're coming into enlightenment now once we come into enlightenment does that mean everything is peachy king oh I'm just so hundred percent believe nothing no absolutely not there's the struggle because remember they started complaining again oh, you brought us here you took us there away from here this and that that and other because that's still that human part, but that's that's the discipline in faith. That's the discipline in faith. So Egypt is a period of unfoldment. It 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 is coming. It is it is being enlightened. It is it is it is merging. It is merging our lower self with our higher self. It is because it's one energy, and it is it is it is consciously now becoming aware of our intention with our decision. You know what I mean? It's it's like every decision that we make, there is an intention. Why? What is the true intention of that of, of that decision? I decide that okay, I want to go to help in a soup kitchen. What's my intention? Do I do I want to go to help in the soup kitchen because that is an true altruistic action that I want to do or do I want to make myself feel good? Um, do I want others to say, oh, look what she did. What is our intention? And that's a human part. There's nothing wrong. I mean, you know, that, well, I mean, that can get kind of, we, we do have to watch that because our intention is like, like I said, don't let the Sadducees, do be unto like the Sadducees. Sadducees say how they do so much good stuff and they're telling everybody, oh, this is what I did. I did, I did, I did, I did. And, um, you know, what it says, it says, you know, what you do in secret, the, the creator will reward openly, you know, but once we share everything, all that, we've already gotten our reward. So anyway, the, the, that is all, all of that, all of the enfoldment simply means that we are in a state of beautiful, beautiful growth before we are awakened before we are enlightened as we get closer and closer to our true self because thy will be done um, we pray to hear thy will and have the courage to do thy will and um yeah so that's that's this is all about the universal law of polarity is is passing over from one state of consciousness to another state of consciousness as we express the attributes of the creator, what we came here for, and recognizing being mindful, being my, and that's this week too, success accomplished, being mindful of what really is the intention, the true intention behind our decision.
you know, okay, and I just gave that, because it could be another one too, um, I make the decision to, I want to, I'm going to go, I want to walk instead of drive the car, what's my, why do I want to do it, I mean, just, I mean, do I want to do, I'm going to save on gas, um, could be more than one intention, do I want to save on gas, do I want to get uh, my exercise, do I want to do both, what's my, what's my intention, do I want to uh, walk to lose weight, what, what's my, do I want to walk to meditate, being mindful, of our intention, because as we are mindful of our intention, we become so mindful of our decision, because every decision has either a reaction or a response. That is the law of correspondence. That is the universal law of cause and effect. That's basically the universal, the seven universal laws as above the law of correspondence, as what's up in here and in my heart is going to be seen out here. As um, as the cause, the cause of the effect that I am experiencing, the cause, there's nothing that happens, and I said it before and I'm, I'm done, there's nothing that happens that precedes a thought. And nothing, the thought does not come without an intention. All right. So that is the message for today, the pastor. I just thought that was so cool and how that can be applied in our life every day, you know, passing from one state of consciousness to another. All right. So we know that the journey in self-recovery is absolutely beautiful. And I know, you know, I know, you know, so beautiful, both he and she, so are you. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, so as we elevate and touch on that trust as, you know, that we are human and divine, there is perfection within our imperfection. Of course, there is. We were created in the image and, and, and the image and likeness of the Alpha and the, the Omega energy. We tap into you as you tap into me, as we tap into we, because it is one energy. And we are living in that one energy. We are uh, living in one vibrational energy, which is L-O-V-E, love. So you tap into you, I tap into me. And um, yeah, and then we go into, so have a wonderful, 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 you go into this week with love and knowing that we are accomplishing at the end of the day and Saturday, we're going to say what we accomplished and what we were successful at. And we're, we're going to feel good about that. All right. So um, the journey in self-recovery is absolutely beautiful. And I know you know, so are you. All right. Blessings, peace and love and see you. See you next Sunday.